Welcome Broken Bushcraft. So last week we did a video on your get home bag, things you should keep in your vehicle. Today we're gonna to talk about what, hap what should you do if you stay in your vehicle. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you think. Let's kick this off. You decide to stay in your vehicle. Now the very first thing is, is can the vehicle run? If the vehicle can run, then about every hour for about 10 minutes, run it. Get the heat going in here. Um, while it's running, I want you to think of a couple things. One is where your fuel is at. Two is, is the exhaust pipe obstructed or unobstructed? You don't want a, car, a buildup of carbon monoxide coming in here and killing you that way. And then while your vehicle is running, flash your headlights, honk your horn, do whatever it is to attract attention that's outside of you. If anything, the horn may annoy somebody. And then run your heat. Get the vehicle you know, warm for you, and hopefully we could trap some of this heat in here. We're in a vehicle. Let's assess what we have. I got my, my pack here. I got my kit. The water's empty, um, but I do have a bottle of water up there. I have my wool blanket under the seat. And my handy-dandy little kit. I'm not gonna use this today. That goes up there. So that's the kit. Now let's see what else I have under in the vehicle. This seat lifts up. Ha, so much room back here. You can do karate, I think. Okay, I got my whoopee. Ha ha ha. When got some medical gauze. Um, another uh, this is my truck kit. Oh, there's so much really so much room. I have this um, that goes on the seat to protect it from the dog hair and mud and the kids. It doesn't work. Let's see, it's under this seat. I have a tarp. I have uh, some tie down straps, bungees. Oh, and this is a seat protector for when I used to run races and get muddy and sweat. I don't do that anymore at all. I'm gonna leave these seats up because I got an idea. So I grew up in a household where you could put plastic on the windows to keep the heat in. We don't have that, so we're gonna have to improvise. Now I do have a sunshade. What I'm gonna do with my sunshade is I'm gonna put my sunshade in my front window. That's gonna keep some heat in the vehicle. Now, if it's sunny outside, take that sunshade down and let the, let the sun heat this vehicle up. Also, you wanna have a window exposed so you can see if people are coming, headlights, stuff like that. So let's set some stuff up. If you do have a sunshade and a Sharpie, write help on there. Maybe flip it around so it's the, if there's an all white or all gray portion and write help or in vehicle trapped, something on there so maybe people can see it. So my goal is to cover up this back window a little bit um, or at least make this back section isolated. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna take my whoopee here. I'm gonna tie it so it goes across, across the uh, front, so it separates the front and the back. Something I forgot to mention was take your signal device and put it in your window so it'll stay here. Or you can, if you have an antenna that sticks up high, you can tie it up there as well. We want to make sure we're marked so people know we're here. It's too dark to film in here, so I'm going to tell you what I've done. I put an emergency blanket up to section off the front and the back. I changed the heat setting to max and foot only on the truck. If I need to get up there and set it, I can just go underneath here to turn the, to turn the vehicle on. To keep myself insulated on the floor, I have my whoopee, I have the front mat, and the back mat. So these, this is all keeping me insulated off this cold floor. I have my wool blanket. I have the window secured, or at least covered up somewhat. So I'm pretty stable in here, and it's actually pretty nice um, without the door open. I haven't even gone in my bag yet, except to get the emergency blanket out. There's two more emergency blankets, or at least one emergency blanket and one tent in there that I could still use if I need to. So I'm prepared to stay here for a while. Some other steps you could take is don't fall asleep. Try to stay awake. Keep your mind occupied. One of the reasons for that is because if a vehicle goes by, a tow truck or something, you can flag them down or person, whatever. Also conserve your resources. Don't 
just start eating because you're bored because then you're just going to leave, you, you know, you don't know how long you're going to be here. Stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. If there's water around you, go outside the vehicle if you need to. You're not stuck in the vehicle. You can go out. If you need to go out and light a fire, you need to go out and collect water. Don't venture too far if you don't know where you are, but just go kind of assess your surroundings so you know what's around you. So those are some things you could do if you're stuck in your vehicle. I hope you never are, I hope you never are but if you are, I hope you survive. And if you do, let me know. Meh. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the woods.